All right, guys, we're going to show you some of the lens effects inside of uh, Final Render 4. So I'm just going to do some adjustments here, okay, making sure everything is good to go in our active shade, or sorry, our production render. So we're just going to bypass some of those guys, and let's just render this image out, all right? So I'm just trying a different color of the car here, but I'm just going to show you uh, a quick example of uh, some of the... Um, the lens effects and the uh, color correction that you can that you can do with inside of uh, with inside of um, Final Render. All right, so we're just gonna let these passes go. All right, and what I can do here is, is uh, pause the video. Okay, and we'll just let this render out. All right. So now that we have a final render here, we can now make some adjustments to um, the, the background. We can lighten up this image quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is enable our uh, denoiser because we can work with the denoiser tool, okay? So we can bring down this number to, I don't know, let's see, let's try one for now. Okay, and as you can see how much it cleaned up our noise and that's what's great about uh, Final Render 4 is that they've added the denoiser uh, function and um, that really tremendously speeds up your renders uh, quite a bit if you have some unwanted noise that you just don't want in your in your um, in your frame okay so we're gonna do about 0.8 that should that should work quite nice okay and then we're gonna come over to our exposure tools here and we can play with the temperature a bit as you can see, the temperature will change. We can play with the tint, just like you can with uh, uh, Photoshop or any uh, kind of uh, image editing um, software. And we also have uh, <clears throat> uh, there are exposure that we can increase. So we can already see our images looking quite nice. And then we can bring in some contrast and just kind of make this image look a little more dramatic. We got highlights. We can uh, move this slider up and down just to kind of bring up some of the uh, the reflection highlights and uh, bring up our whites just a bit. And let's see, we have vibrance. Make some, bring some color out and just add a little bit of uh, saturation. So now we're really seeing the blue come out. Okay, and then vignette. It's nice to have that. A little bit of uh, some lens effects there. Okay, hot pixel. We don't need that unless you're seeing uh, some kind of... Uh, firefly effects uh, but as you can see here uh, and as we reset we, you can see that how uh, different the image looks okay so here we have also is film uh, response uh, curves and we have tone mapping which is really cool as well so going through some of these properties here the film response is just like acting as like a real camera and you get that kind of uh, that uh, the, the LUTs you get to, that that film uh, look to some of your, uh, your renders you can use this just like they would have say an octane render um, where you have these features where you can actually get a, a really cool color grade to your to your image so as I kind of filter through them you can see the differences and then what you can do from there is actually work off of uh, one of these uh, pretty much LUT or uh, if you'd say um, film, resp film response curves you can work with that and kind of uh, bring up say the temperature you could change that you could change the exposure and then just kind of work with the uh, the tone mapping and this you get such a realistic image doing this and as you can see here guys that um, we're already getting some nice results so this is a great feature added into uh, final render and this is definitely something I've used across the boards when I'm doing other uh, when I'm using other uh, software or sorry render engines uh, you can see that uh, using these um, these adjustments really help your uh, your final look, right? So other than that, um, uh, as we're playing with the midtones and we're playing with the the vibrance, uh, you can you can see here that uh, we're starting to work with our tone map image as well, and you can see the differences. So using tone mapping is is excellent, and I'm glad that this is added in uh, in Final Render. Okay, so we can also play a little bit more with our, our noise. 
Okay. And then we also have some glare that we can add into this. And uh, if we bring these values up, we start to kind of get a bloom effect uh, happening. Um, but uh, I don't really want to do too much bloom at this moment. Uh, I believe I like what I got here. It's a very natural look. It's uh, not too too much flares or anything like that. Or I just wanted to show you guys that uh, using tone mapping and using the response curves, film response curves, you can really get some cool uh, look to your image as well. So excellent. Uh, uh, that's a uh, high five for uh, CBS is uh, getting in, um, uh, putting this in to final render because this is really great. And I use this with say um, Octane. I use Octane quite a bit, and uh, having having these features really help uh, bring out your image. So I'm just going to play a little bit more with the, the blacks and bring up, uh, let's give, give it a little bit more of a kind of a vintage look to the image. But you can see here, guys, that this looks really cool. And uh, you can see the differences between the raw image and then my modified one using the uh, lens effects and the exposure tools. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. I uh, hope you learned something from that and you can see the potential with Final Render 4 GPU. All right, guys. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again.